Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Cookie showing off one of those fun Sinstone boards. It's the quest that is one of the hardest ones to get online in the game, but the wait is worth the reward. Because if you can get to a state where you are generating extra triples, taking double two six stars every time you discover a six star, and then in turn being Cookie, discovering more six stars that are capable of tripling and you know where we're going. The snowball occurs, you get sixes and the sixes and the sixes and the sixes, and you can build gigantic things, even balls. All right, enjoy. No, 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 just mess around with it some more. You'll get there. Trigger death rattles. Good. Send the stone. My god, add cards to hand is real hard, but it's sin stone. I don't care. These are cards to hand. I see sin stone, I play sin stone. It's real easy, Bofer. Just play the sin stone. Don't overthink it. I see Sinstone, I play Sinstone. I mean, first of all, it's really good. It may be a super hard quest. 35 cards in the hand is very slow. But uh, Sinstone is, is fun and really good, and Am is even excited. She's like, Sinstone? Look at that. She even looked up. Now she's chewing on her paw, which is obviously the universal sign of appreciating Sinstone. You guys obviously don't speak Beagle. See? Look, are you excited about Sinstone? Are you? Sinstone! Do you get three out of four to buy for two things from? You get two cards, three or four if you get the Blood Gems. Three for the Naga as well. I like it. I like the pickup. I would agree. Right. Uh, one of the better results. Two damage. It's a Millhouse still on one. We're on three. Can't complain too much when we're taking two damage from Millhouse on turn four. I mean, never lucky. This is this is bullshit. Oh, these are good cards, man. Interesting. All right. So be it. Bofer, come to my party. Is it going to be dope? Is it going to be the best party ever? We're all going parasailing? Nice. Sounds like a great time. These aren't even four stars. Just give me like a four so I can turn it into a five or triple here. Give me something, Bobby. Give me a little something, something. A little bit of love. You can see what I'm trying to do there. All right, whatever. Guess we're just going to hold it again. Bobby. Bobby. Bobby, stop being mean. Just 
just over here trying to have a fun Sinstone game, and this dude's staying on Tavern 3. Did he level at the end? No. Wait, he lost and stayed on 3? What? What is going on? We aren't one turn away, right? Otherwise, I could hold this for 6s. Holding will be worth copium? Oh, ye of little faith. Smoking gun online. That's very expensive. I'd have to like sit still and do nothing. You can always evolve a five into a six. Yeah, but like it's a random six then. Not a discovered six. Oh, well, we're just going to have to, going to have to do it. Ew. <laughs> Whatever. We easily could have gotten a Quillbore for what it's worth off of the discoveries or had some reason to play synergy with, with spells. I realize we have two shoal commanders before and it goes down the one. So like you get less value off of that, but in any opportunity that where we take something that changes that play, you can make an argument both ways, whether or not you should play the, the two first spells or not. All right, there's his, his smoking gun. It was showing online already. I was a little bit scared because it was showing online. It was actually bugged out. Gets a mid combat. And we are at what now? Pretty good. We can take sixes next turn. We get two passively. Goes to 31, 32 here. If we want to level and discover into a six star, it means we have to redeem patient scout. Or we got to get a spell craft on this first board. Just get lucky. Just get lucky. That was it the whole time. Not only that, it's like the best spellcraft. The, the play was just get lucky the whole time. We should have seen it coming. All right, we have one, two. This would be number three. So we need to make sure this dies. That is the one thing that could fuck us over here, is if that doesn't die. Because we're going to go to 34 here, and we have one left on the hero power. Next turn, we strong. Or we do crazy things. As long as he kills this. Alright, he's Wind Fury. He's got to kill it. Whew. There's nothing on this board. Yeah, talk about difference in opportunity. Like, you look at those kind of board states, and you're like, hmm. If he chose to buy X versus Y, it totally affects this combat in some way. Now, who knows what the, all the choices were leading up to this point in the game. Naga? I like the Naga. This is so good, though. Um, I want to be on six, though, for this discovery. Two Agam. Not very good. But who knows? There's always the dark gaze line. We can do nutty things. All 
Oh shoot, I need to play this. What am I doing? I did that again. I was thinking I wasn't gonna roll, but I am gonna roll. I'm just gonna roll this shit down. Fuck! This game is too hard! It's too hard, shit! <laughs> the game is too hard! <laughs> oh, fuck. The game was too difficult for me this turn. To be fair, we're we're always losing this round, no matter what we do here. With leveling the six, but we could have avoided a little damage, probably. Could have done better. It's a good combat result. Boomered! Yeah, we boomered for sure. I was just gonna roll the end of the turn with the Elise. I got I got caught up in optimizing and should have just played it a good line and play it all the way through. Because this, this turn can go very long. No. No. No! We need a, another last minion. Damn it, game. All right, this is really good. Should play you through too. One gold off of doing that. Rindle steals it. Seems good. I don't really want to freeze one minion. All right. Nice ball. Yeah, ball's really nice here. We have the ability to play into anything that triples. We have a, the ability to play into just double Theo right now. And then we also have two Divine Shields in the long term. So, like, ball's a good hit. We need something else to put on the board with the Theos. So, we just abandon ship on the, the Agam because we didn't get the Dark Gazes. And we play into, into Theo. Too late for that. This is also, like, really good. Like, really good. Game. 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 I'm just over here trying to say things are good. And you're over here being a dick. Glow scale for each turn, probably. Could just roll it down. Might be the better play. If we don't think we die, we should roll it down. But this guy's very scary. Big cleave? Yeah, it's just too slow. The game is too close to the end to try to play toward that. Rolling it down and just playing into double discoveries, Elise, into six stars is the greedy line. Like, that's the play if we think we're ahead enough that we can keep snowballing. Try for reset on ball. Yeah, that'd be nice. There's a lot of things that would be nice. But we're just like, this is seven triples millhouse dealing 20 damage to people. Are you really greeting that one? In a top four scenario already? Yes, that was the hit. Yes, that one too. Perfect. Right, that was actually a really good hit. Too bad we couldn't get this guy. Boo! Uh-oh. Those are terrible hits at the end. You have 21 life though, so what? 
Why does that matter? Like, when you're in these types of scenarios, if you're arguing about being super greedy, like, huge red flag that you're making mistakes. Like, you're talking about two or three turns left and not winning rounds. Like, your payback period is so far. I should have played these things through first, actually. Hindsight 2020. Because this can discover an Orgazoa. Manted Orgazoa are good hits there. I think we roll it down. Because we do have the gold for it one more time. I got deflecto. I got reset. That'll change things. Try to get that above ghoul range. His board small. Our board big. You'll love to see it. That will change things, cop bot. I mean, if it's going to stay on the board, we can pull it up above ghoul range, and it's a mech board after all. Like, bumpers are good. All right, so we don't kill him, but we beat him. In fact, we beat him pretty good. He's going to drop down the one-shot level. Yeah, people greed really, really hard in this game. And it's like the, the number one warning sign that, that you're making some consistent mistakes is if you're playing toward, like, top four positions and you're trying to scale more instead of beat people. Because it turns out the game's not that long from that point, and a couple stats and losing a round is just not worth it. We're never getting this. So it's a question of, like, this triple. Cycle through Theo, play Leroy. Or we cycle through here and we take a few extra stats. are not very good. There's a triple, which is definitely worth taking. Sucks that I'm losing the shield for next turn, but it's okay. It's better than not doing it. Should be good against both of these guys, actually. So we're actually in a pretty commanding position. I think I hold this till next turn. Permatop Manted. Next round's the last round and we can hold this. Now we can just Permatop Manted because we want to play it anyway because it's a neutral and it buffs the board, etc, etc. But if I hold this card, it's just going to be the last round anyway and we're going to give Manted Taunt. So. Not really necessary. Not to mention, like, I'm giving it Divine Shield this round. But, uh, but yeah. His attack order is going to be all fucked, too, because it's an Illidan. Illidan Ghost not getting the Illidan Hero Power effect. But yeah, you look at these kind of boards and, like, he's keeping multiple scaling units on the board. This isn't actually up to date, but died with a bunch of scaling units on the board. Just gets you killed a lot. 
All right, do we just max out stats? This may just be, he has no triples since the last time we fought him. Like, he's just know me. I think we just went on stats. It's fine. We should be fine here. We'll look at this guy, you know, just in case for the Theo or whatever. See, easy Theo. Into more Theo, just like Theo extravaganza. Um, not sure it's actually the play. We want to keep that on the board. Just do it this way. Bofer missed the stat. I know, we could have played the Athissa through with it. <laughs> we ran out of time. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Actually got reasonably big here. Like, reasonably. No more triple. Kind of gross. Kind of good hits. Up until, you know, that last one. Do we kill him? Nope. We don't kill him. Not this time. We go again. Since then, so fun. Yeah, you just get a lot of value. We could have been slightly stronger a little bit quicker, and this game's just over. Not gonna take this. Not gonna take this. Won't break you. Won't taunt you. Pull you guys through. Shouldn't be relevant anywhere here. But but whatever. I could take an extra buff. I just feel dumb sometimes. Could have cycled this through. Because we had the one extra or the two extra gold here. I'm sure it's a big deal. It's going to be a huge deal in this game. Do you ever think he tries to taunt up a, a Leroy? A secondary Leroy? He ghouled us. And he taunted Lyra. All of the above. We got a wee bit unlucky too. Oh my god. We lost. He almost lethaled us too. <laughs> All right. RNG is not improving today. Why is this happening? So many times. I was freezing for this to potentially change our our order here. Punish for missed stats. Didn't make any difference on the stats. These breakpoints don't matter. But yeah, 
Like, Leroy's are so bad against this board with the ghouls. With the ghoul now. We got smacked. Awkward. But obviously the ghoul is a big problem here. The liability on our board. Once again, went first. And we also once again lost the deflecto bot to oh actually we don't. Because this that thing value trades. Alright, never mind. We're Gucci now. Now everything okay. We got there. Close. You almost got us twice. But yeah, both of the Leroy's just died of the ghoul. It evens up the board. We just need to cycle out a one. We can play the other one in the first position. So we 50-50, it, it kills something. Or I guess it's a, a one out of three in that scenario because he keeps the ghoul taunted with two taunts. But still, like we didn't find anything else to play. If we would have found a Sunbacon or something, we would have just safeguarded this. We also took the Orgozoa to try to get like the, the taunt to give it three health. Or the whatever, the plus two two from the shoal as well would have done it.